Brentech, yeah, where tech is made simple. So we have passed the halfway mark of August 2022, which means now we are heading towards the end of the month. And that also means that Microsoft have started um, testing and finalizing their next optional bug fix C release update that we can expect to see roll out near the end of this month. Now that's update KB5016688 released to insiders in the release preview channel on the 15th of August, which was yesterday in my region, which takes that build now of Windows 10 version 21H2 to 19044.1947, where currently the latest stable version of version 21H2 is OS build 19044.1889. So when the update does roll out, and if you do install this next optional update, um, the build of your Windows 10 version 21H2 operating system will be bumped up to 19044.1947 or in that vicinity. But the exact update will roll out 5016688. Now, in case you're interested, just to go through some of the key highlights we can expect to roll out in this next optional bug fix update. And um, the release preview channel, by the way, in case you were unaware, is your closest version and build you get before Microsoft makes that available to the general public. Now, there are two new um, uh, add-ons and features, mainly to do with IT admins, that we can expect to see roll out. They've given IT admins the ability to remotely add languages and language-related features. And they can also now manage language scenarios across several endpoint managers. And then the next one is they've enhanced Microsoft Defender for endpoints ability to identify and intercept ransomware and advanced attacks. So that's two new um, add-ons rolling out with KB5016688. And then they've also fixed a known issue that causes Microsoft Edge to stop responding when you use Internet Explorer mode. And this one seems to be popping up almost on a monthly basis. So Microsoft obviously battling to fix and address that issue um, with Internet Explorer mode and Microsoft Edge. And then there's a couple of others here. They fixed an issue that might generate error 0x1e when you shut down or restart a device. There was an issue that causes a subscription activation to fail. That's been addressed. And there was also an issue that might cause some game installations to fail because of a licensing issue. That's also been fixed. And they fixed an issue that degrades BitLocker performance. So that's a performance boost. And then they also fixed an issue that affects the jump list icon colors in the search app. And I think that's about it. So that's what we can expect more or less to see roll out in um, update KB5016688, build 19044.1947. And if we just head to the calendar, um, today we're on the 16th in my region. So we can expect that update, I would, uh, I would um, assume, to roll out next week um, anywhere from the 23rd towards the end of the month and as mentioned those updates are always rolled out near the end of every month so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one